All right, now that you have your deformer set up, let's learn how to rig your breath animation. I like to do this first since it's an easy way to allow me to explain the concept of parameters, but also it's a little rewarding because you can see your progress pretty quickly. So first, let me explain the concept of parameters. Parameters are what tell the software what you want your model to look like at different points in space and time. If you look on the bottom left side, you'll see a parameter panel and it'll have a bunch of these different slider things. Think of each slider kind of like a timeline in a YouTube video where if you move along the timeline, things might morph and change, but there's always a start and end. So if you select a deformer in the deformers panel and then you select a matching parameter in the parameters panel, you can create keyforms, which is the basis of pretty much all rigging in Lab 2D. A keyform is this little dot on the parameter slider. It's essentially a pose or a snapshot of your model at that point. If you think of your VTuber model as a posable figure, each green dot is a pose. Typically for parameters that have two dots or two keyforms, there's an on and an off state. For parameters that have three keyforms, the center is kind of the default, and then there's usually a left or a right state. So this is for things that are like rotating or moving up and down. So there's always a default state and then a moved state. You can always add more keyforms if you need by pressing this add single keyform button and then you can take them away using this delete keyform button if you want to delete all of the keyforms on a parameter slider you can click on this button up here delete all keyforms and it'll clear it back to default there's even ways to edit keyforms manually to make them very specific but we'll get into that a little bit later the colors of a keyform also matter for example on this breath parameter that i have here you can see that the keyforms are white. That means that for the deformer that I have selected, body Z, the body Z deformer does not have any keyforms related to the breath parameter. But if I select the breath deformer, you can see that the dots turn green, indicating that the breath deformer and breath parameter are connected and that I have two keyforms or poses along this slider. If you have multiple deformers selected, for example, if I select body Z and breath, you'll see that the dots turn yellow. This means that some of the deformers you have selected do apply to this parameter, but other ones do not. Okay, with all of that theory done, let's get to actually rigging the breath animation. So I'm just gonna clear what I have here out right now so that we can start from scratch. So you have your model in its default state. First, you're going to want to select the breath deformer. Then you're gonna wanna scroll down your list. It's near the bottom of the default parameters that Live2D sets for you, you're gonna wanna find the breath parameter. In the breath parameter, you want to select this button, add two keyforms, and it will automatically add a keyform at the start and end of the parameter slider. It's going to have your red dot, which is the indicator of where you're at or what you're working on along the slider. It's going to have it at the leftmost side. This we're going to leave as is. So this is going to be our default state. We're going to move this red dot to the other side, either by dragging it, or you can also just click on the opposite keyform and it'll jump to that spot. So we're going to want to start on the right side keyform of the breath parameter with the breath deformer selected. All right following so far so from here i want to edit my model and warp it using the deformers in order to create a pose or snapshot that applies to this keyform one thing that we can do that's really really simple is using the red anchor points so these the red the red anchor points and moving it a little bit up and a little bit wider so just really tiny like one pixel like <laughs> a little bit up and then on the sides, a little bit wider. Just a little bit wider. Okay, so now your model is a little bit bigger 
than its default state. And you can see this if you slide this red dot back down, you can see that here it looks small and then when you slide it up, it gradually gets bigger. All right. And that's it. <laughs> that's basically it. If you want to make it more realistic, you can do additional things like moving the chest up and moving the shoulders down. So we can try that now. What you're going to want to do, because sometimes the anchor points get in the way of each other, um, but Live2G gives you a way to remove the red anchor points so that you can edit the green ones a bit better. So if you have the deformer selected still and you have the red dot on the right side keyform, you can click on this red X in order to temporarily hide the red anchor point. So if I click this, the red ones are gone and then I can more easily access the green ones. So from here, I'm going to select the middle green one and hold shift so that it stays in line and stays center and then move it a tiny bit up. Just like one box up. And then I'm going to take this anchor point that's attached to the center on the top and then move it one square down so that it's kind of isolated and only moves the chest area. Let's slide this and see how it looks. I think I might adjust it a little bit more even so that this stays lower. So yeah, you have breathing like this and then you can change it even further by adjusting these gray anchor points to move the shoulders down. Because when you think about when you breathe, that's kind of the action that your body takes. Um, your own body is the best reference for how animation should look. So I will constantly be or like moving my body around to try to imagine what it's supposed to look like in a certain pose. So don't feel weird doing it. <laughs> Everybody does it. <laughs> anyway, you're going to want to select these two gray dots that are closest to your shoulders. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hold shift and then select the other one on the other side. And then they're going to be purple so that I know that these two are selected. And then I'm going to drag them a tiny bit down. Okay, let's see how that looks. Does it kind of look like breathing? And you can keep adjusting these as necessary based on your own model because every model art is different. Every body type is different. Um, what you're wearing might affect how this will look, stuff like that. So it all depends on the kind of look that you want, but that's essentially all it takes to rig the breath. If you want a more automatic way of previewing how your breath animation will look without having to drag it back and forth, you can click on this down here in the bottom right corner you can click on this play button and then the software will move the sliders automatically for you and you can preview the animation that you have so far so as you can see the model is subtly breathing and kind of moving a little bit up and down a little bit out and in and if you want to stop, you can always just press that button again to stop it. That's it. Amazing. <laughs> you have rigged the breath animation for your model. Congratulations. Now that we've covered that, I'm just going to review one more time what all of the buttons in the parameter panel does, just so that we really drill it into our noggin. The first button adds two keyforms at the start and end. The second one adds three keyforms at the start, end, and middle. The third one deletes all keyforms on a parameter. And then this one edits keyforms manually. I'll show you really quickly. I'll show you really quickly. <laughs> so if you click on edit keyforms manually, it will open a new little window and then it'll show you exact values for your parameter slider. 
So right now there's a zero, there's a 0 0.5 and there's a one, but I can select like 0 0.75, for example, and click and then add a new um, key form in that specific spot. So this is for when you need a very precise positioning for your key forms, but we don't need that right now. So I can just take that one out. We'll probably need that later on, especially when you're rigging things like eye blinking or mouth movement that comes in handy. If you have a deformer that is changed in multiple parameters, you can select this button and it will show only the parameters that correspond to the part that you have selected. So for example, since I have breath and I click this button, it will only show the breath parameter and hide all of the other parameters that I don't need at that moment. And if you click it again, it'll show all the parameters that you have again. These we'll deal with later. <laughs> These ones we'll deal with later. Um, but for the bottom three, those are to create new parameters if you need them, to create folders if you want to organize your parameters, and then to delete any parameters or folders that you don't need anymore. So that's it. Now that I've explained the concept of parameters and keyforms, you know like 90% of what Live2D is about. All models and animations in Live2D use these basic tools. There will be more advanced techniques to come, but I'm honestly still learning them. I'm gonna do my best to try to explain these concepts to you. For now, the tutorials will just go part by part. And then eventually at the very end, hopefully you'll have a perfectly workable rig. In the next video, I will be covering how to do body X, Y, and Z or Z rigging. <laughs> I never know if to say, oh, I should say Z or Z, <laughs> but I will have that up eventually. <laughs> Look forward to it. And please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. The comments honestly make my day. They make me so happy. Uh, to hear that I'm helping people create their own VTubers. If you have questions, you can reach out to me either in the comments or on Twitter or Discord. And I'll also leave a bunch of handy links. That's it for now. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.